Hello friends. Welcome back to Knox County Schools at Home Summer Edition. My name is Mrs. Chandler and I teach kindergarten at East Knox County Elementary School. I'm glad you joined us today. While we're doing this lesson, if you have um, trouble understanding, there's a few things that you can do. Um, you can turn on the closed captions if it's available to you. Um, you can also adjust the playback speed to slow down the video. And um, you could also consider watching short clips and then pausing and then listen again. So, uh, if you're a student and you're having difficulty, ask someone in your home to watch this video with you. Stop frequently and talk to whoever's watching with you about what you've heard and what you've understood. Let's get started talking about social studies. Hello friends, welcome to this edition of Knox County Schools at Home Summer Edition. My name is Mrs. Chandler and I teach kindergarten at East Knox County Elementary School. I'm glad you've chosen to join me today. I would like to talk to you for just a little bit about social studies. And the topic for our social studies lesson today is going to be jobs or careers. Has anyone ever asked you, what would you like to be when you grow up? What would you like to do as an adult? Well, I can remember when I was a young girl, about your age, people started asking me that question. And of course, I always said, I wanna be a teacher when I grow up. And so I loved being at school. I loved learning new things. I always thought it was very exciting. Every time I learned something new, I couldn't wait to share it with somebody else. And then as I got older, I realized that I really like to work with children and especially five and six year olds. They're my favorite. And so I realized that that was indeed what I wanted to do. And for a while before I became a teacher, I had another job. I worked as a receptionist at a doctor's office. I know sometimes you might get sick and have to go to the doctor. And then when you go and you walk into the office, there's a lady sitting at the desk and she's answering the phone and she's asking your name and she might make a copy of your mom's insurance card. Well, I did that for a while, for a few years before I became a teacher. And so that was a job that I had, but I didn't stick with that job because in my heart, I really wanted to be a teacher. So I got a little bit older and I became a teacher. And now I've been doing teaching for several years. So because I've been teaching for several years, um, it's no longer just a job for me, it's a career. So when someone does the same job for a while and they are trying to get better at what they're doing, um, it's considered a career, it's a career choice. So um, each career has different skills that you have to learn and there are different tools for each career that you need to have. And today I wanna to talk a little bit more about that. I'd like to read a story to you about careers. Now, there's this awesome website called getepic.com. It's awesome. And right now, um, you can get free access to thousands of books. It's awesome. They have all kinds of books about different kinds of topics. So your grown up right now can sign in to getepic.com if they haven't already. And they can uh, log on and you can read this book at home. Um, or uh, later, if there's something else that you would like to read about, you can do that. And there's books that they also read to you. So I suggest you check it out. But today I wanna share with you a story about careers. And it is called, Whose Hands Are These? It's a community helper guessing book. I like this book because it's got some neat features in it, like rhyming and it gives us clues. So we're kind of like detectives. So let's read together. Whose Hands Are These? A community helper guessing book by Miranda Paul. Hands can wiggle, hands can clap. Hands can wrap and flap and tap. 
but hands can help. So raise yours, please. Can you guess whose hands are these? Did you catch all those rhyming words? Okay, let's see if we can figure out who this person is. This is a career. Ho and so, these hands are soiled. So if the hands are soiled, then he's getting his hands dirty. Sweep and reap, these hands have toiled. Toiled is another word for worked. So he's working and getting his hands dirty. In the barn, these hands are charmers. These hands belong to many farmers, charmers, farmers. They gave us the clue. And also noticed on that page, uh, they were charming the eggs. That means they were kind of sweet talking that chicken into that hen to giving them the egg, right? Because we all know our food. Uh, without farmers, we wouldn't have food, right? And so uh, farming is a very important career. It's a lot of hard work, but it is a very important career. I'm glad we have farmers. All right, let's see if we can figure out which career this is. Choose, peruse, these hands are picky. Mix and mash, these hands are sticky. These hands flip through food stained books. These hands belong to gifted cooks, books, cooks. Oh, it said that they were picky because they wanted to have just the right ingredients for what they're making and their hands probably get pretty sticky when they're handling things like fruit and sugar. Um, these cooks are cooking up pizza. Yum, what do you like on your pizza? It's awesome, cooks. So, so far we have farmers and cooks. And I noticed that they use different tools. The farmer was using a hoe and um, a basket to collect the eggs. And the cooks are using bowls to put vegetables and stuff in that they bought from farmers. So, so far two careers and both careers are using different tools. Their hands are very busy. Let's read the next page. Stop and go, these hands are waving. Catch that guy, he's misbehaving. Hmm. These hands help us keep the peace. Hold yours up. It's the police. Okay, so we know that the policemen are here, policemen and police women are here to keep us safe. So I liked it that the story said, catch that guy, he's misbehaving. That's great. All right, these hands help us keep the peace, hold yours up, it's the police. The tools he uses, he uses a walkie talkie so he can communicate with other officers. And, oh, he's got a ticket book right here with an ink pen. And so if someone is speeding, they might write a ticket. They might pull them over on the side of the road and write them a ticket. My kitty cat socks might try to join us. Oops. Oh, so this is another thing, guys, about Epic. Check this out. If you click on words in the story, it will tell you what that word means. Lots of cool features on Epic. All right, let's turn the page. Quest and test, these hands are turning. Test again, these hands are learning. Hmm. Looks like they're uncovering something in the dirt. This tool is called a microscope. Hmm. They're weighing something on a scale. Weigh and count, their work persists. These hands belong to scientists. Nice, check them out, they're working in a lab. Lots of investigating going on and experimenting. We're scientists in kindergarten, we're learning about lots of new things. So we're kind of like scientists, but wouldn't it be cool to be a, have a career as a scientist? So if you really like uh, experimenting with things and discovering things, Maybe a scientist is what you'll be when you grow up. Hmm. Let's keep reading. Push and play, these hands are shaping. Wet with clay, these hands are scraping. These hands keep on adding water. 
these ha are the hands of one great potter. Oh, I see. The tools he was using was the spinning wheel and he's using the clay and he makes it wet and he shapes it into, in this case, a cup. The artist is a potter. Potter is kind of like an artist, but you can make dishes. Hey, I have to have dishes when I'm feeding supper to my family and I have to have pots and pans. So, um, and bowls to put things in. So a potter is a very important career. Let's check out, oh, this lady looks important on the next page. It says, taking notes, these hands are writing. Breaking story, how exciting. These hands can type or hold recorders. These hands belong to news reporters. When there's important things happening in our world and in our communities, reporters are people who come out and let everyone know the news. What's going on? What do we need to do? We've had a lot of that lately with people helping us know what to do and how things are gonna be changing and how we need to make adjustments. News reporters, a very important career to keep people informed. Ooh, this next, this next page shows a, a dirty hand. I wonder if this is a farmer. Remember the farmer's hands got dirty and this picture shows me somebody's working and getting their hands dirty. Let's see. It says yank and crank. These hands are smeared. That means there's something rubbed all over it. These hands are smeared. Reach and wrench, they've disappeared. Oh, when something breaks, these hands don't panic. These hands belong to a mechanic. A mechanic is someone who can fix things. And in this picture, there are mechanics fixing automobiles because we got to have an automobile to get around. Yes. And so they have a very important career. And this is something I know. I have a nephew who is a mechanic and he still goes to school. Every, every so often he goes and takes classes because every day, machines around us are getting more and more sophisticated and more complicated and our mechanics have to continue learning so that they can get better at their career and so he goes he goes just every few months and takes a class to make sure that he's up to date on all the new things that he needs to know about motors and how things work so a mechanic very important career Oh, this next one looks like it would be a fun career. Dream and sketch, these hands draw lines. Stack and build, they form designs. They're forming things, they're designing things. Hmm. Sketching, drawing. Measure twice, check all the specs. These hands belong to architects. Guys, architects are so important because we are expanding all the time and you might see new buildings and houses going up in your community. And we want to make sure that those houses and buildings are safe for people to go in. And architects help us by making sure that uh, the buildings are designed to be safe. Wow, so check them out, their tools are uh, the, the rulers and the calculators and they have the plans drawn out on paper. It's called blueprints. And so a very, very important job, architects. All right. Ooh, the next one looks fun too. This person has different tools though. This person has a little yellow flag and um, a timer. And it looks like even his arms might be tools. Let's read about this, about this career. Arms up high, these hands keep score. Throwing flags, they say no more. Each hand signs and oversees. These hands belong to, what rhymes with overseas? These hands belong to referees. Oh yeah, so if you play t-ball or maybe flag football or something like that, 
maybe basketball. Uh, there's an official person there. Remember we talked about um, rights and, or respecting our um, people in our community the last time I talked to you. And referees was actually one of the people that we talked about that we should show respect to. They are there to make sure everybody follows the rules and they are there to make sure that everybody stays safe. So a referee, did you know that you could be a referee for a career? That is awesome. And that would be fun, especially if you really love sports. That might be a good career for you to consider. Um, okay, over here, these people are using different tools. I see a little, looks like a little flashlight. Um, they're scrub-a-dub dubbing their hands. Look at all those bubbles and they're scrubbing under their fingernails. We know when we wash our hands, we have to wash all sides of our hands, right? And we scrub under our fingernails to make sure they're clean. Um, but down here, they have green hands. Rub and scrub, these hands are clean. Wearing gloves, these hands are green. So it's not green hands, it's gloves. These hands have all have healing missions. So a mission is they've got a job to do. These hands all have healing missions. These hands belong to your physicians. Physicians is another word for doctors. So when you go to your doctor's office, your doctor is a physician. Now, that is a very important career, and that is a career that takes a long time to achieve. So physicians, have to do a lot of college. So if that's something that you might consider being when you grow up is a physician, a doctor, maybe you want to be a doctor that helps kids. Maybe you want to be, maybe you want to be a doctor that helps animals. You know, that's a, that's a veterinarian. They're a type of physician. So if you want to be a physician of some kind, that's something that you've got to think about before you're an adult because it takes a lot of learning to become a physician. So remember, if that's something you're interested in, as you get older into middle school and high school, it's going to be really important to um, create very good study habits so that you can become a physician. And hey, maybe you'll be able to uh, fix a problem that a friend has or a family member has if they're sick. That would be cool, wouldn't it? If you could help the people that you love. All right, so that was an important career. And look, she has neat tools too. She's got this thing hanging around her neck. It's called a stethoscope. She can put the earpieces in her ears and then she can lay the stethoscope like up on your chest and hear your heartbeat. Or she might put it on your back and listen to you breathe. <sighs> you probably remember doing that. Sometimes it's scary to go to the doctor's office, but they're really just there to help us. So we should try not to, we should try to be brave. I know it's a little scary, but just be brave. And remember, they're there to help you. All right, this next career, come on in. These hands wave sweetly. Oh, wave sweetly. Caked in chalk. These hands write neatly. I bet they're talking about using the headline, the waistline, and the foot line. Because remember when we're writing our letters and our numbers, we want to make sure that we're writing neatly so that people can understand what we're writing about. Hmm. These hands care for kids and creatures. So this is somebody who waves and they write neatly and they care for children. These hands care for kids and creatures. These hands belong to helpful teachers. Creatures and teachers are rhyming words. That's awesome. Check out this teacher. Um, this, oh, this class is learning about reptiles. I see on the whiteboard behind him, it says unit three, reptiles. So they're learning about reptiles probably in science. And, ooh, they are observing. Ooh, that's, they're kind of like being scientists, aren't they? Because look, I noticed they are observing and they are making notes. Oh, look at this guy over here, he's got a pencil up. This guy's raising his hand, he's asking questions. Lots of learning going on. 
I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what I think. I think being a teacher is the most awesome career ever, but it's not for everybody. So you don't have to be a teacher, but I highly recommend it. All right, let's look at this next one. Ooh, uh, this person tying a shoe. Oh, well, um, playing a violin. Can you play an instrument? Maybe a musician? Um, oh, there's somebody shooting a basketball. Oh, you could be a pro basketball player. Hmm. Greeting, eating, dressing, sharing, cleaning, caring, or repairing. Let your hands try something new. One day, what could your hands do? Oh, and check out this picture. These boys and girls are having a career fair, a job fair. If you look on their board behind them, they have a sign up that says, welcome to our job fair. So a job fair is like when you think about what you might want to be when you grow up and perhaps you might have an adult that is already doing that job come and visit. So this looks really cool. Let's see what some of these children want to be. Uh, the little girl holding a camera. I bet she wants to be a, work for a news station. And then there's the little girl with her and she's interviewing a firefighter. So look, she's got her microphone and she's saying, can you tell me what happened on the date of May the 7th? So maybe there was a fire that day. She's interviewing a fireman. So those people, these two girls, they decide they want to be news reporters. And obviously he wants to be a firefighter. We come on over. Oh, here's somebody wanting to be a physician. They're wearing the white jacket and a stethoscope. They've decided what career they think they might want to do, or maybe just one that they're interested in. Um, this next guy wearing the white poofy hat. I think he's got the right idea. He wants to be a cook. If you like making things to eat, uh, you might really enjoy becoming a professional chef. Chef is a fancy word for cook. Oh, and then here's this girl. Oh, she's gonna be a scientist. She's got her tools that she might use. Oh, and this guy behind her for a minute, I thought maybe he was a police officer, but then I looked closer and he's holding a little toy airplane. I think he wants to be an airplane pilot. That's a pretty important because be, you want to make sure whoever's flying your airplane when you go places knows what they're doing. It takes a lot of hours of practice uh, working as a pilot before you can fly the airplane with lots of people in it. Oh, and this guy over here, he's not just flying airplanes, he's flying spaceships. He's going to be an astronaut. He's going to go into outer space. Very cool. So think about boys and girls. What could your hands do? What could you do as an adult? Something to think about. So I want to talk to you now about our task. Okay, so in your packet, uh, we're going to do a little activity first to warm up and practice together and maybe get us to thinking some more about um, what our job is today for our task. And our job today is not only to think about what career your hands might do, what job you might do when you grow up, but we also wanna think about what tools do you need to do that job successfully. So we're gonna share, now I'm gonna share my screen with you and I want you to help me decide which of these tools go with which career? So at the top, I see a guy, um, he's got a car stuck up in the air on this really tall jack. And we gotta figure out what tool would he need to work on that car? Um, there's a stethoscope, there is a wrench, maybe a wrench to turn a screw or a bolt, maybe, um, a book. He might use a book if he needed to learn more about how to fix the car, um, or an ax. 
Ooh, I feel like if you used an ax on the car, that might actually do more damage than good. So I feel like the best choice here would be the wrench. So on your paper, you're gonna draw a line. Oops, sorry friends. You're gonna draw a line from the mechanic to the wrench. Now this next guy, he is writing on a board. He's holding a book. Hmm. Which could he use? A stethoscope, a wrench, a book. It says ABCs on it. Maybe he needs to teach his friends about the ABCs. <gasps> He's a teacher. He's a teacher and teachers use books as tools. So you would draw a line from the teacher to the book. Ah, oh, here's this guy. We recognize his uniform. Uh, he has lots of protective gear and he's holding a giant hose with water coming out of it. He is a firefighter. Now we have two tools left. Which would be best for him? A stethoscope or the ax? Hmm. I feel like he might best use the ax because he might need to smash through a door or a window to rescue someone if a house is on fire. Or maybe he just needs to see if there's somebody inside. So you'll draw a line from the firefighter to the ax. Now, we have one left in each column. And this is a physician. There's a little boy, oh, he seems to have hurt his knee and the physician wants to help him but you know anytime you go to the doctor if you ever notice every time you go to the doctor they want to see how big you are and they always uh measure you and see how tall you are and weigh you and see how heavy you are um and they always want to make sure your heart is pumping correctly so this physician is going to need a stethoscope so that she can listen and make sure he's doing okay so boys and girls in your packets you're going to draw lines to connect the career to the correct tool. And then on the next page, you're going to think about what will my hands do? That was the question at the end of our story today. What will my hands do? So I want you to be thinking about what career you might choose as a grown up or Maybe just a career that you think would be really cool. And maybe you have somebody that you think you really like what they do, somebody you know, or maybe somebody in your family, and you think they've got a really cool career. Maybe you want to illustrate about them. So it says, what will my hands do? So what you're going to do on this page is there's a template of a body. It's not a boy or a girl yet. You get to choose and you're going to illustrate draw on here you can color their clothes to make it look like a uniform um if they wear a special kind of hat you might draw a hat on the top but i want you to think about what tools does this person need to be successful in their career so you're not only going to uh draw the person but you're also going to add details um by drawing the tools that they might use now I know in room 209 at East Knox, boys and girls were, were labeling their pictures. So if somebody just walked in and saw this, they would know exactly what they were looking at. And so um, I suggest that not only do you illustrate, but also label your picture. Um, and you might even label what the career is at the top and then label the uh, tools as well. So boys and girls, I am so glad that you have joined me today. It has been wonderful spending this time with you. I hope you continue to have a great summer and it won't be long. You'll be first graders at your school. So go in, be ready, and make those first grade teachers happy and make your kindergarten teachers very proud. Take care, keep learning, bye.